Well, from where I sit, this strategy has never worked. Uh, generally, Kenyans vote where the leaders want them to, to vote. A very good example is in 2007, when uh, ex-president Mwai Kibaki revived uh, the, the giant, the former giant paper miller, the pan paper, just months to, ge the, to the general election. But the lawyer community still did not vote in uh, PNU. So as you can see, this kind of uh, politics of tokenism has really never been that successful in this country. Well, as, uh, I would say that if you ask any serious political analyst, they will tell you that in Kenya there are no swing votes. Kenyans, or rather the Kenyan voter, they would generally vote where the ethnic kingpins wants them to vote. Uh, so the politics of tokenism really uh, that doesn't play, apart from uh, re a few regions like uh, like uh, like uh, the pastoralist communities, you may not really swing votes in other regions simply by doing a few things to them. Yeah. I think to be fair to the Jubilee government, some of these initiatives really are a game changer. If you look at uh, the issuance of title deeds, for example, to Waitiki squatters at the coast, I think uh, the government, for the first time, for the first time, really made a bold move, and they changed lives at the coast. The pumping of uh, billions of shillings to Mumia Sugar, for example, is something that cannot be downplayed at all. But again, some of the strategies that the government is employing, for example, are just laughable. If you look at uh, trying to give handouts to elected leaders, surely. The other day it emerged that uh, leaders from the Meru community who went to state house were given 5.5 uh, M. Uh, the other day there were another huge delegation from the Kama community that were given also a lot of cash. I don't think we would want our politics to move in the, this direction.